if you're contemplating your own brand overhaul right now in your business, then you're probably going to find this episode really inspirational. See exactly how I did it with client Michelle Lucarini. Let's get you all inspired up and ready to formulate some of your own ideas. Let's go. Before we get going today with Michelle, I would like to take this opportunity to remind you to subscribe to Moi TV, especially if you are on the brink of doing a brand overhaul just like Michelle. As well as sharing shoot results like what you're about to watch today, I get into the science and methodology of what goes into formulating a really good brand strategy. So this is a great channel if you're a small business owner. Make sure you hit that bell and you're going to be notified every single Friday when a new episode comes out. Now we featured Michelle before here on Moi TV and that was way back in September 2018 where we shot these gorgeous nature inspired brand photographs together. You can skip back and see what we did then. I'll put a link up here and there'll be one for you below in the show notes as well as it's way back in the annals on the channel from September 2018. Now Michelle's business has experienced major growth since we last did that headshot session together a few years ago and I think that's a main result of Michelle choosing to niche her business down. So she realized quickly that she was doing a little bit too much of everything for not the same sort of client and she wanted to bring that niche into more of her zone of genius which has a real operational focus to it. As soon as she had this breakthrough, Michelle meticulously gathered the right client after the right client to build up a solid client base of people who had similar sized businesses in very different industries, but they all had this same need for operational expertise. And one of the things that she uses to define this audience is that the business owner must identify strongly as a visionary. They all have quite a clear and ambitious date in mind of when they want to hit that seven-figure turnover mark in their businesses. Michelle even evolved the way that she delivers her services and she moved her business to a retainer-based setup. So she defines a clear-cut project with her clients. It could be multiple years long, by the way, but then because she has a very clear end goal in mind, she can then work with the client over a long period of time to help turn their visionary ideas into actual reality. Now in this time of flux in Michelle's business, me and her have also changed roles with each other quite a bit as well. I have myself experienced some really good operational focus sessions with Michelle and I do that in a one-off basis when I hit clear milestones in my own goals for my business. I honestly highly recommend them, they really are value for money. I've also been involved with Michelle behind the scenes to help her come up with the right type of brand strategy for her business so that when we got to the point of doing a brand overhaul, everything that we needed to make key decisions about was made on solid strategy. It made this whole process a really enjoyable experience for me, for the other creatives involved and especially for Michelle. Michelle decided to keep her brand name Michelle Lugarini, but with the shift into a more focused business that appeals to the highly ambitious visionary, Michelle wanted to increase the perception of sophistication about what she does. And it was important that we position her as the pragmatic BFF to these types of business owners. We enlisted the help of Cheryl Laidlaw, aka the London Web Girl. She helped encapsulate the reimagined brand in a graphic way, as well as overhaul Michelle's website. Taking that strategy and then the graphical expertise that Cheryl brought to the table made planning this shoot a total breeze. It really was a blissful operation. I had every single piece of information that I could possibly need to help me inform how we do this in a visual photographic way. I was delighted to learn that Michelle had transformed her own living room at her home and she said that it was her new on-brand living room. She had been so inspired in the work that had been going on in her business that she decided to redecorate her own living room in the same sort of style. This made it really easy for us to find a safe space that we could control while following lockdown measures and make sure that everything indoors was weatherproof but also that there was enough variation to mix up the way that the shoot came out. 
To top this off, I made sure that I had a really strong shot list of very pragmatic and quite domineering style poses so that when I was directing Michelle, we were getting across that pragmatic BFF factor in the way that she's holding herself in the final images. Here's what happened on shoot day. First stop today, coffee. <laughs> First set done with that sort of background. And um, we're now we're doing some outfit changes and repeating it. And then we're gonna move on to this white wall here. Next. You'd be surprised how much we've got out of this one little corner in Michelle. So we've had the big chair here, that's behind Rosie the reflector. Then we brought in the white chair and now we've changed the setting a little bit through some bits and pieces and Michelle's going to be sitting right there. That's the first bit over. What did you think, Michelle? It was a nightmare. She thinks she's Francis Ford Coppola or something. <laughs> what a diva, eh? It's a wrap. Ultra quick preview here. You can see we've got 577 images. Oh yeah, I'm going as fast as I can. Tons. She's got tons of images. So Michelle, um, let's pick up where we last left off. So we were, we did a shoot a couple of years ago now, didn't we? But yeah. you've had so much change in your business. So yeah. catch everyone up on what's happened. Yeah. So back then the brand was all about, um, it was still about growing your business, but it was much more marketing focused. And so we went out into the forest and the trees and we had a, the whole earthy vibe going on. And really over the past 18 months, I've really focused down and realized from working with some of my one-to-one -one clients, what I was really great at offering was operational consultancy and support um, at a much more strategic level. So we've really been honing that over the last 18 months and sort of made my business more sophisticated, up-leveled it a bit. So you, you've changed your client base quite a lot, but now who are your ideal clients compared to what we talked about last time? Yeah, so now I'm really focused in on they're either um, wanting to scale and grow an agency or they're sort of high ticket um, consultancy service provider type businesses yeah. that are, you know, really into the, they're already quite multiple six figure businesses, but they're really clear, focused, driven, and that they want to get to that seven figure, that one million turnover mark. And you, you integrate yourself into their, they already have an established team, don't they? So yeah. how do you do that? You have, you must have so many different teams that you're part of. Yeah, it how is. How do you do that? <laughs> Lord knows. I always, that's like a joke because I have five different inbox, you know, I'm the operations manager, you know, labeled as this brand, labeled as that brand under my client and having to switch between that. So really it's about having my own systems and processes yes. in place. Um, and actually outsourcing stuff within my own team internally to help support me so that I can switch a bit easier. But I also yeah. block out my time and I'm really focused. I don't have a big group of clients. I have a small group of clients and, you know, they have their time that's very dedicated. I'm not chopping and changing around. So it's easier to get my head into right I'm in client A space today, I'm in client B space tomorrow kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so tell, let's talk about then what's different in your, like from your eyes in this shoot compared to the one we did yeah. last time. So the one we did last time was, you know, a one-off typical, you know, Laura Perman-esque headshot <laughs> session. Whereas for the past, I don't know, year, six yeah. months, you know, around Better, that yeah. year, um, I've been working with you on a retainer basis with you much more as my creative director. And I love that because I know every month um, I'm paying you this and anything that comes up in that month, we're sorted out. You know, we have a sort of base level of what that retainer includes. But for example, we've added in an extra photo shoot and some videography to that um, this time around. And I just love the fact that I can sit back and go, 
Okay, Laura's got that sorted out. She'll keep me right when it comes to all things creative direction and brand. Okay, so let's go into a little bit now, Michelle, about the way that your brand is feeling more sophisticated. I'm interested to hear in your words how you say that we've done that. <laughs> yeah, so um, a lot of work has gone um, on with um, Cheryl yes. from um, London Web Girl. She's shout out to Cheryl. Yeah, shout out to Cheryl. <laughs> um, and really a lot of that has come down to not only the color palette, we've still um, stuck with the green and kind of gold earth tones, but we've leveled that up and made it, I, I don't know how to explain it because I'm not the creative mind, but it's their richer colors that kind of give off a more sophisticated um, vibe. But still yes. for me that the green and gold and earthy color palettes is still very much a part of my brand. We've just enhance those colors to be in line with that. We've also gone with a more sophisticated font, so less playful, more, I mean, business under the kind of, you know, type of services I'm providing. And we've looked at making my logo more sophisticated. If you wanna see my updated brand, the link to my website is in the show notes. And if you wanna connect with me, you can find me over on Instagram. Let's see how these images look on Michelle's newly live website. I just love my new website. You can see there's a lot of white space. It looks very clean and um, sophisticated. That's one of my big brand values is about keeping it simple and telling it like it is. So there's not a lot of extra fluff and things to distract your eye. It's a really clean, sophisticated design, which is what we wanted to get across with the evolution of my brand and the target market that I'm going for. And just look how amazing my brand photography is. Laura did a fantastic job in really making sure the look and feel of my photography fits in with the new brand and the new website. If you'd like to come and see my new website for yourself, then head over here. It's www.michellelucarini.com. Don't forget, you can meet more of my clients by visiting this playlist called Meet My Clients here on Moi TV. Have a watch of this and gather some inspiration for your own brand. I'll see you next time. Mwah. Now, before you go anywhere, don't forget to subscribe. Mwah.